And good morning, everyone. Welcome to this day. It is uh, going to be a nice day out today. Going to warm up, though, this week. I'll tell you about that in just a moment. On our show today, Richard Palmer is here with the Tea Party Sentinels. They're having their meeting coming up. That will be next Monday, but he's going to give you a preview of the guest speaker that they will have. Also, Betsy Martin and Tom Nash are here from the Video Club. We're going to talk about all kinds of classes that uh, they offer, and it's really varied, and uh, we're going to talk about, I think, three of them that are coming up. They're all starting in September, so you've got plenty of time, and tell you how to uh, sign up for those. Uh, they do some uh, great classes over there. Also, we're going to bring you a segment from Radnet and the Jewelry Box, which is right up the road in uh, Lake Forest, so we'll tell you all about them. They've been there, I don't even know how many years now, 20 years or something like that. As far as meetings go today, there are two. The Energy Task Force, that's going to meet in the boardroom at 10 o'clock this morning. And then uh, the GRF has their media and communications meeting, and that will be at 1.30 also in the boardroom. Now, as far as the weather goes, enjoy today because it's going to begin to warm up a little bit. We're almost going to get a repeat of what we had last week. Uh, where the middle of the week it bumps up in temperature, then we get back down to the weekend and we have more pleasant temperatures. So just like we had uh, last week, I don't know if it'll be, get quite as warm. I know certain areas definitely will. So about 81 today, a little bit of overcast in the morning, as we've seen, a bit warmer tomorrow. And then Wednesday and Thursday, uh, you know, we're gonna be mid to upper 80s. That could change a little bit. But those will be the warmest two days for sure. And then it'll start to go back down on uh, Friday. And then the weekend, next weekend, is going to look very much like this weekend. So pleasant weather. So a few days, we're going to bump things up and then bring that back down. It'll certainly be inland a lot warmer where there'll be heat advisory warnings going up. And, uh, you know, the Inland Empire and those areas for those days. Let's look around Orange County and elsewhere. And, uh, yes, Palm Springs is holding steady, about 109 today. Everywhere else, though, you can see is just uh, really uh, pleasant uh, weather and uh, just very nice for uh, mid-August. Beaches, maybe only about 76. You're going to see overcast down there till uh, maybe about 11 o'clock uh, this morning. So if you're headed down there, keep that in mind. The evenings are absolutely beautiful. The festivals are still going on in Laguna Beach for another, oh, about a week and a half or so. So you still got time. I know that if you want to go to the pageant of the masters, uh, they still have tickets available. So you haven't gone yet, I hear it's just a, a great show. All right, we will be back in just a moment. Trust the experts at Universal Carpet for all your flooring needs. Now get 50% off pet stain resistant and hyperallergenic carpet, porcelain tile, wood laminate and waterproof flooring, and complete kitchen and bath remodels. Plus get five years 0% financing, including free installation and free furniture removal. Our convenient showrooms are just minutes away in Irvine and Huntington Beach. Or call 866-402-2747 for our free in-home shopping service. Universal Carpet, the low price leader for over 20 years. Dr. Farman Cosmetic and Implant Dentistry is located right outside Gate 6 and has been keeping the village smiling for many years. I trust Dr. Farman with my, all my dental procedures and all my dental work. Thank goodness I found Dr. Farman. We have been serving the community of Laguna Woods for almost 20 years now. Come and visit us at Braylon Smile for all your dental needs. We are close to Gate 6 near Snooty Fox Restaurant behind Coco's. Through my window, I see the first sunlight, and I feel the warm ocean breeze. I see the waves that lulled me all night. That's what my window brings me. Look at this. That view is a million dollars. It's amazing. We can look at these kinds of places within our budget. You don't have a bad view from here anywhere you look. It's all about the view. Sunday night is beach night. Sunday night at 8, only on HGTV. In a land of hopes and dreams lived a luxury lifestyle consultant with spectacular taste. One day he thought, I'll show lottery winners how to live like a millionaire. I'm like gonna cry, like this is beautiful. Pinch me. He scoured the land looking for the home of their dreams. 
which he slayed. So the families could live in plenty and live fabulously ever after. All new, My Lottery Dream Home, Friday night at 9 on HGTV. Do you hear but not understand? I have good news for you. A proprietary system for verifying hearing correction, verified best speech clarity, is now available through the All-American Hearing Network. This means hearing improvement can now be verified and documented. Your individual hearing correction is guaranteed in writing. Call today to reserve your complimentary private consultation and experience word clarity dialed back into focus on the spot. Try AMP, the world's smallest hearing aid, at an unbelievably small price, just $750. It's ready to go in one visit, comfortable to wear, and virtually invisible when worn. Yes, you can now have verified best speech clarity. Hear every word. Call today to reserve your complimentary private consultation and experience word clarity dialed back into focus, on the spot, risk-free. And I'd like to welcome Richard Palmer. He is the president of the Tea Party Sentinels. And a week from today, on Monday, the 26th, they will be having their regular monthly meeting. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Great to have you here today. Oh, my pleasure. And um, yeah, your guest speaker oh. is going to be Douglas Gibbs. And I don't know, have you had him as a guest speaker before? I don't no, recognize I, the name. Uh, I had <coughs> his producer. He's a, uh, you know, a radio host. OK. And his producer was here with uh, uh, Trevor Loudon. Okay, all right. And uh, so ever since then, I've been hoping to get him, and uh, I didn't know how to do it. So, so I, where is he a radio host? On, it's uh, down in San Diego. Okay. And he travels all over the country. This is, and he advertises in the Epic Times. Okay. This is an article, and uh, he is, he's, he's, a, he's written about seven books. He's on another book, and the guy is is. <laughs> he's just incredible. I mean, he's a, such a patriot. Uh, but so tell me about um, what he's going to be speaking about. I mean, I'm looking at his, well, his bio a little bit, and yeah, well, uh, what you sent me, constitutional literacy and patriotic advocacy. Yeah, well, that's, that's what his specialty is. He travels all over the country <laughs> to teach in his course and or giving lectures. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're real anxious to, to have him come because I, he's just so unusual. I mean, uh, aside from being a Navy veteran, uh, he's, he's been talking about the Constitution and different aspects of the Constitution. <coughs> mm -hmm. And he has so many awards. I mean, he, his list keeps growing, you know. Yeah. He's just so popular. and uh, but. He's on a radio pro a station out of San Diego. Okay. It's uh, And uh, yeah, you put down, oh, there yeah, it is, KMET. 1490 AM. Yeah, and I'm sure that can be um, found up here pretty easily. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, in fact, yeah, that's true. And, uh, but he's, uh, uh, he, he's been on various programs. Uh, I think like what, One American News, Al Jazeera America, mm -hmm. NPR, and uh, so he's quite an advocate of the Constitution. And all his books are written around the different aspects of the Constitution. So and he's, uh, you were lucky to get him because I'm oh, sure he's quite busy. <laughs> lucky, <laughs> I'm so fortunate. You know, I. Uh, he was here uh, with another club, and uh, the attendance wasn't that good. And so I tried to talk to him, but then other people were getting in line, so I mm -hmm. just left. And then I, I looked at, I subscribed to the uh, Epic Times, mm -hmm. and that's his article here. Oh, okay. So that's where you. Yeah, that's. Oh, okay. So I called him up, and uh, we agreed. The guy is just in, uh, he's, he's, he has so many different awards. I mean, he's just uh, very popular. Um, 
and he's, everything he talks about is related to the Constitution mm -hmm. and the benefits that the citizens have because of the Constitution. Right. So it's really important that that people come and listen to him because, you know, he's sort of one in a million who talks about mm -hmm. relevant things. Right, right. So that, to me, really impressed me. But he, uh, I, I don't know, he, he just, <laughs> he's just so unusual that he's, uh, and of course he's very popular, I mean, I, the guy is, he must be going all the time on different programs, mm -hmm. traveling all, all over the country. Yeah. Because not too many people talk about the Constitution because they don't feel it's, you know, uh, a lot of people don't think it's relevant anymore. Right. So you have the, uh, the, the, the group that, that wants to hold to the wording in the Constitution, then you have the other group that wants to have a living Constitution. Mm -hmm. And I don't, the two just can't mesh. Right. So it's a real problem. But so uh, this guy, um, his full name is Douglas V. Gibbs. Right. Uh, that way you can look at him online if you want. People can find oh, yeah. him. See, he has a couple different websites right. that he's on. And uh, one of them, it's funny, it's called politicalpistachio.com. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where yeah. that comes from, but <laughs> that's pretty easy to remember. <laughs> And then you can do, go to douglasvgibbs.com. So yeah. that way, if you want to listen, to, yeah, I'm I, sure they put his radio show on there. Yeah, I, I don't know where he got that name. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard of that one. But, <laughs> but you know, he's just so unusual. But he's, uh, he's a great speaker. And, uh, and he, you know, people have to be reminded of what's in the Constitution. You know, it's, it's a pretty complex right. instrument. And... Uh, but people just have to be reminded of what it says. Right, right. And uh, because so many people are, are trying to change the wording, and that, that's, you know, those that believe in the living Constitution, mm -hmm. they just want to change all the wording. But you know, if that ever happens, this country's gone. Because right. this is the only country in the whole world that has such a Constitution. Mm -hmm. You know, all the others are, uh, they have they have regulations, but it. But here in this country, it's documented. Right. And right. so, and we have a Supreme Court that that looks over all the mm -hmm. legislative bodies to see if it's if it meets right. the Constitution. Yeah. And sometimes they you know miss it. You know. Right. Well, uh, but that happens. But it's pretty complicated. Yes. You know, it gets, when you get into the deep parts of it, it's. It could be a little confusing, yeah. But uh, I think the, the the general wording is pretty sound. So again, I want to remind people: it's next Monday, yeah, yeah. August twenty sixth, usual place, Clubhouse Seven at seven o'clock. Yep. Oh yeah, I am really looking forward to it because I mean, look at all the, he's written. I think seven right. books, and he's working on his eighth book yeah, right now. Yeah, very good. So I mean, the guy is. I don't know when, how, how, how he spends time with his family because he's always on the move. You know, he's in high demand. Yeah. And uh, Well, it's good that you got him. And, uh, oh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm sure people will enjoy it. Oh, yeah. I'm really looking forward to it because, you now we had already, we already had somebody talk about the Constitution. Right. But this is from a different angle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Very good. So, again, if you want to go... Uh, next Monday, the 26th, at Clubhouse 7. You can get there about 6.30. Yeah, doors the doors are open. open. If you want to contact Richard, it's patriot at teapartysentinels.com. Got it. All right. <laughs> Good to see Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ken. It's a pleasure you to be here. You take care, and we'll be right back. Yeah. on some of the nastiest places in our neighborhood. If the home has good bones, we'll turn them into amazing spaces. Ready or not. And we're just getting started. Get out of my way, boys. Oh my God. Wow. It's gorgeous. Go ahead, toot your own horn. Toot, toot. All 
new Good Bones Tuesday at 9 on HGTV. Looking for a change of scenery? You don't have to play golf to enjoy all that 19 Restaurant and Lounge has to offer. From a delicious breakfast menu to our delectable lunch and dinner specials. At 19 Restaurant and Lounge, there is something for everyone. Relax with your friends and family and take in the beautiful view from our spacious patio. Or enjoy a cocktail and appetizer in our lounge. 19 Restaurant and Lounge is a great place to socialize, enjoy a meal, or simply take in the view. Join us seven days a week and experience Laguna Woods' exclusive dining experience. Summer is here. Diane's Hallmark has everything you need to make summer cool. From clothing to jewelry to unique one-of-a-kind gifts, Diane's Hallmark is the place to go. Diane's also has a large religious section as well. Come in today to see it all. Diane's Hallmark is located in the Walmart Shopping Center next to Hobby Lobby. Before the next earthquake, take 30 seconds to refresh your memory about these important disaster preparedness tips. Make a family emergency plan. Decide how you'll get in touch with each other, where you'll go, and what you'll do in an emergency. Build a disaster supply kit with enough water, food, and emergency supplies to last at least three days. It's important to have disaster supply kits for work, cars, and pets too. Find and fix items in your home that might hurt someone by moving, breaking, or falling during an earthquake. Know how to react safely when the ground shakes. If you're inside, stay there. Remember to drop, cover, and hold on. Drop down onto your hands and knees and cover your head and neck with your arms to protect yourself from falling objects. If you can move safely, crawl under a sturdy desk or table and hold on to one of the legs until the shaking stops. After an earthquake, help people who are hurt or trapped Call 911 for emergencies only. Check your home for damage, including gas or water leaks, damaged wiring, or downed power lines. Protect your family and your home by making a plan, building a kit, and practicing disaster drills at least twice a year. Be sure to visit readyoc.org for more information on emergency preparedness and alertoc.com to sign up for emergency alerts and notifications. We want you to be prepared for a disaster just as much as you do. At the Memorial Care Breast Center Saddleback, you will always find a friendly face to guide you through your annual mammogram visit. Our staff, dedicated subspecialist breast radiologists, knowledge and innovative technology await your visit to our center. With the Laguna Woods Shuttle Service right at our sidewalk, this convenient location offers you quick access for your appointment. You can expect nothing but the best for all your breast health needs at Memorial Care Breast Center, Saddleback. Hi, I'm Brian Rott, President and CEO of Cartmart here in Laguna Woods. My family's been in the golf cart business since 1959 and we win our customers over with the simple belief of, we treat you right. We are proud to be the authorized dealer for Club Cart here in Orange County and your go-to source for the sales and service to other major brands. We're conveniently located on El Toro Road, just minutes from Laguna Woods. So come by and see for yourself while when doing business with Cartmart, there's no reason to go anywhere else. Well, the Video Club offers uh, so many things here in the village, not just learning how to do video, of course, but how to use different devices and how to edit and all kinds of different things. I think uh, video now has changed. In fact, you don't need just, you don't really even need a camera anymore. Uh, today we have Tom Nash and Betsy Martin here, and we're going to talk about several classes uh, coming up in uh, September, right? Yeah, September 9th. Uh, Monday afternoon we have Stephanie Brasher who's really super in uh, the iPhone iPad uh, I'll be there in her class she um, she likes us to use what we have in our pockets or our purses right. and shoot video and then make it into fun cards or little little short videos she's really good yeah, and um, you know we have on the screen just some of the many classes uh, that you do, uh, 13 classes that are coming up in September and all. And you know it's like I was saying, Tom, I think um, nowadays very few people walk around with a little video camera right. anymore. Yeah. 
And of course, you don't need to. If you have a phone, an iPad, you know, whatever it might be, mm -hmm. uh, th there's almost no need for it. Almost any kind of smartphone will record quite good video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the video cameras still do a little better, but, uh, and video cameras have gotten much cheaper and much better too. Right. For $200, you can get a, a really good high definition video camera with a zoom in it, which mm -hmm. you don't get with your, uh, with your phone. Right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a whole different world. Yeah, it and, is. And uh, we lend these out uh, in the video lab. Oh, you do? Okay. On Wednesday or Thursday, come in one to four in the afternoon. Um, with a deposit check, you can take them out. That's nice. For a week, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. Uh, you know, we were just talking about uh, the class that's coming up. There'll be a three-part class on, um, you know, getting better video with uh, your iPad and your phones. And I think that just what we were talking about, that's what most people have nowadays. And it's very easy to do. And if you don't want to use the particular app that uh, the standard one on your iPhone or iPad or your Samsung phone or whatever it is, mm -hmm. there's many different ones that you right. can download for yeah. free and just a matter of what you like best. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, and you can still, of course, uh, uh, if you haven't thought it through, you can still get uh, plenty of lousy uh, video and, and yeah. bore, bore your friends and, and neighbors. So uh, uh, there's some techniques that you yeah. can learn so that uh, uh, you're putting together all that stuff you shot in a way that, that will make you a hero instead of a dog at your next party. Right. Yeah, I wonder, do people still show videos like that? Remember like years ago, years uh, for, and years ago, the eight millimeters? Yes. <laughs> the most va one of the most valuable parts of a video is the cut, is the cut, the, the razor blade cut right. feature. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the more you take out, the better the, what's, uh, what's left is, generally yeah. speaking. Yeah, and you know, it's the technique <laughs> is still the same. Mm -hmm. it, it's uh, many, many years ago, uh, you know, when people used to do, and they, and they still do, of course, traditional art, traditional painting. Uh, and then the computer graphics came along and same thing. Well, the concepts are still exactly the same. Yes. The tools yeah. change. Yes. Exactly. Well, right? As far as the tools, yeah. I think uh, people will really benefit from, from Tom's class coming up on September 10th. Yes. That's a Tuesday. That's the uh, learn to edit. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, yeah. We start off with uh, Wolfgang Cutter showing us how to organize it and put all your, your clips and mm -hmm. all your data into one file. And then Tom is a very good teacher. He's done it for 30 plus years. As a, as Tom a used to use a razor blade. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, I used to cut film and, and yeah. a, a long time ago. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah so, literally. And, and, and then, of course, reel to reel uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, video. But, yeah. but, uh, but it's, it's so much easier. So it much is. Cheaper and so much faster uh, these days. And the editing software used to be literally thousands of dollars for for editing software now for under a hundred dollars you can get top-notch really right. good editing software we're teaching a, a, a Corel uh, video mm -hmm. studio uh, that's one of several really good editing uh, programs and uh, it's just amazing what you can do with it yeah and quite often they're free if you want to yes. just get going and you know like the classic one is is iMovie and things right. like that but you can get started and not spend, as long as you have your phone or whatever, right. not spend a penny. That's right, yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Um, the PC has uh, built-in uh, video editing right. software in Windows 10. Mm -hmm. well, a lot of people don't know that's pretty good. Yeah, yes, it, it doesn't matter. You're getting started and you're getting the techniques down. If it no. doesn't have a lot of different effects or tricks, that doesn't matter. You get the basics Probably down. more than you need. Yeah. 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 and. Um, Scott Marvel does a marvelous job. Yes, he does. Um, and he'll be doing uh, smartphones, smart, phone, smart mm -hmm. uh, uh, iPads in uh, October. Uh, he's very effective in, you know, and, and person on the street, you know, yeah. getting the interview as they go. And he wants to use it for promoting clubs. Right. And I think that's just a, a marvelous idea. Yeah. It's always mm -hmm. exciting. It's always a good class. 9.30 uh, on Fridays starting in October. Yeah, so great, great yeah, classes very good for class. sure. Another okay. thing that, that's uh, changed in video is how you distribute it. <clears throat> it used to be that you had to put it on a DVD or something like that. Mm -hmm. Now more and more, you just put it on YouTube yeah. and you send somebody the link or send yeah. out the link to all of your friends. And uh, 
Uh, so we have a class actually that, that'll teach you how to interface with YouTube, how to download things. Not very hard, yeah. but uh, uh, a, a one session class will tell you probably all you need to know about, about using YouTube. Yeah, it, yeah, easy to do. And even if you, you know, now if you do a short little video, maybe a minute, a couple minutes, well, you can text somebody with that or put right. it up on Instagram or whatever. You don't, mm -hmm. So for something that's really short, maybe a little snippet, you're out somewhere, you don't even need YouTube nowadays. It's just right. very easy to distribute it any way you want. You can attach it to an email. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Most yeah it's quite amazing. Want, yeah. Uh, as far as um, what people need, uh, particularly for some of these classes, now I would think for the, the one where you're getting better video with your phone and iPad, they, need, they should bring that in. They should probably already have one. Yeah. Uh, uh, most people have some kind of, some kind of yeah. a phone. So uh, 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 Android phones uh, shoot perfectly good video, oh, yeah. just yeah. like uh, uh, iPhones do. So uh, if uh, almost everybody has one, so of course they should uh, bring it in yeah. for the class. Yeah, so that uh, makes it easy. And uh, not everybody may have an iPad or something, but as long as they bring their phone in, except for the size, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's uh, kind of one and the same. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're the video club, and we support all the other yeah. uh, tech, uh, tech classes like the uh, the uh, the Mac Lab is very good to to learn iPad mm -hmm. and iPhone from the beginning, and they have intermediate classes, and so not to not to be afraid of it. They also have uh, classes right. in um, mm -hmm. taking good pictures, and uh, then you can come to us yeah. after you have some confidence with your phone. Yeah, and that's really what it is. And you know, years ago, people were I think a little bit more intimidated because. You're talking about, um, you know, maybe the expense of something like, oh, I messed this up, and you know, I had to go pay for this to be developed or whatever it right. was. You don't need to do that. In fact, you haven't been able, haven't had to worry about that for mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. even with cameras, with the, with the cards you put in them. Right. So that's been the case for a long time. So you know, who cares if you? It's experimentation. If your mm -hmm. video or your whatever it might be doesn't look great. Well, you learn from that. It didn't cost you anything. The cards are cheap, and you can reuse them who knows how many times, yeah. hundreds of times. Yeah. So, so uh, probably have enough storage on your hard drive to, to uh, store all these, or you can download them yeah. to uh, upload them, that is, to uh, YouTube. Now, s how do you sign up for these classes? That's Most of them, you just walk in. OK. And uh, it's $5 a class if you're a member, and you can join. We we say join and right. then you get membership for a year through 2020, and then it's five dollars a class. One class, uh, I believe it's Scott's um, iPad class. Uh, we I think that's it. Uh, we need you to, to register for that. Okay. One. Mm -hmm. uh, but it'll be on channel, be on the message board, and we yeah. shouldn't shouldn't forget to mention our general meeting. Right. Which is the third Thursday. Okay. Uh, what's the date on that? Um, whatever it is. Have we passed the third Thursday? The this week? Uh, we. In September. 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 Oh, in September. September, okay. September 19th. Okay. And it's going to be uh, Don Hill, uh, What's in My Camera Bag? <laughs> New Toys for Old Folks. Um, Don is a, a really f wonderful spirit, and he has, uh, he has lots of toys. Uh, that he'd like to share tripods and microphones for the for the iPhone. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, he's a lot of fun. Yeah. That would be great fun. And I want to mention too, the uh, website is easy, videocluboflagunawoods.com, and then That's from it. there, That's it. you can get all this information. Right. And it, as you said, it's about uh, showing up for most of these, but you need the dates and times and all that. Yeah. And you'll see the uh, as as the dates get closer, you'll see the flyers and right. the flyer racks around uh, around the area. Very good. All right. So again, the video club has a lot to offer, and you can learn all kinds of techniques, and just using your phone or whatever you have and get started. And it's a lot of fun meeting, you know, meeting new folks and it is. finding out how everybody does things because there's no one way uh, it, when it comes to video to do something. There's no right or wrong. If that technique works for right. you, that that's fine. Maybe the composition. 
right. is uh, right or wrong, but even yeah. that. So we, have, we have a class in sound. That's where most people blow it. That's true. <laughs> they, you know, you bring up a good point because there's one thing that uh, the video on uh, on your phones is absolutely excellent. I mean, they're they've been used for um, you know motion pictures sure. at times, but the audio is still. Right. Eh. That's the problem. Yeah. And, and then you can uh, work towards submitting your four minute or less video yeah. in our contest that we have at our banquet in February and submissions are due by the end of the year uh, and it's a goal to work for. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Thank you both for coming on. Thank Always you good to pleasure. see you. Mm -hmm. And uh, remember that the, uh, their uh, classroom is over by Clubhouse 2 and it's just kind of off from uh, the main area there. If you're facing Clubhouse 2, it's to the right. Okay, very good. We'll see you next time and we'll be right back. Okay. This is how we burger brew and cue. Pick a town, arrive hungry, real hungry. Start with a massive burger, charred, juicy, add bacon, a buttery bun, piled high. Serve it up, wash it down. Creamy, hoppy, fruity, malty. We're not done yet. Q time, deep fried, sauce soap, pork ribs, meaty, tender. I'm full, where to next? All new, Burgers Brew and Q, Tuesday at nine. Cooking channel, stay fired up. Anyone who calls it a hobby doesn't understand. This is how we burger brew and cue. Pick a town, arrive hungry, real hungry. Start with a massive burger, charred, juicy, add bacon, a buttery bun, pile high. Serve it up, wash it down. Creamy, hoppy, fruity, malty. We're not done yet. Q time, deep fried, sauce soap, pork ribs, meaty, tender. I'm full, where to next? All new, burgers brew and cue, Tuesday at nine. Cooking channel, stay fired up. joining us. Today I have Dr. Patrick Allure and we're going to be talking about pancreatic cancer. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. What are the signs of pancreatic cancer? So pancreatic cancer unfortunately has very nonspecific signs, meaning the symptoms that pancreatic cancer causes could be caused by a number of things. Mm -hmm. So abdominal pain, you could probably think of a lot of things that could cause abdominal pain, but that's one of the main symptoms of pancreatic cancer. Back pain, um, nausea, blood clots, jaundice. Jaundice is yelling at the skin or eyes. Mm -hmm. um, some of these are pretty specific, but most of them, and most of the time, they are very nonspecific. And at what point does a patient need to call their doctor? If a patient is experiencing any of those symptoms, they really should seek medical attention, okay. especially if, say, abdominal pain is lasting more than a few hours. If you're having abdominal pain, I would think that maybe I have something wrong with my, you know, something on the side or some right. different kind of thing. Right, and you're probably correct. Um, if you have abdominal pain, it's probably not pancreatic cancer, but um, if you have something like jaundice and abdominal pain or nausea and blood clots, okay. um, then putting it all together, the patient should get a study, a CT scan or an MRI of their abdomen, and the doctor reading the CT or MRI needs to be aware that they need to look at the pancreas as well. Okay, okay. I mean, it sounds like it has to be a combination of the things. Correct. Okay. What are the risk factors for the development of pancreatic cancer? So the risk factors are, um, include smoking, heavy alcohol use, uh, obesity, um, also family history and genetic factors. Those are the most common. There are some occupational exposures, but they're very rare um, chemical exposures. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, are, are, is exercise or lack thereof also a factor? Well, um, being overweight does increase your risk. So if you're not exercising, I suppose you might be overweight then. It, I guess lack of exercise would increase your risk. Okay, all right. And then you mentioned earlier a CT scan or an MRI. So are those the two types of tests that can be used? Those would be the best types of tests to use in a patient if you're suspecting pancreatic cancer. And again, if you have some symptoms and maybe a family history, you'd want to get an MRI or CT with contrast um, utilizing a pancreatic special protocol to look at the pancreas and evaluate for lesions which might be cancer. 
um, you wouldn't want to get an ultrasound, for instance, because an ultrasound might not look at the entire pancreas. It could only see parts of the pancreas, and of course you need to see all of it right. to say whether there's cancer there or not. Okay, now is the contrast, is that the, what you have to drink? Is that something that's injected? Right. So in this case, the contrast is something that's injected into your veins and can be thought of as an image enhancer, or okay. some patients call it a dye, even though it's not a dye. Um, what is it made up of? Well, it's made up of uh, it's made up of uh, particles <laughs> that cause uh, certain lesions in the scan to stand out more than your background organs. Okay, so kind of like a highlighter. Kind of like a highlighter. That's a okay. perfect way to think about it. All right. Yeah. And then, uh, what is done if the CT or MRI finds something suspicious for pancreatic cancer? So, if something suspicious is found, usually a patient goes right for biopsy to get a piece of the tissue to say if it is cancer and if it is, what type of cancer is it? Um, sometimes the CT scan is so suspicious and it might show evidence of metastatic disease or spread of the tumor to other parts of the body, in which case before they do a biopsy they might want to do whole body imaging. So that could be with a CT scan of the chest, abdomen, and pelvis or a PET CT which is whole body imaging okay. um, utilizing nuclear medicine and CT together. Is there a specific type of radiologist that would have to read these? Well, usually a radiologist such as myself, a body imager with um, some expertise in cancer imaging okay. would be the, the doctor to read those. And that's not the first person that we meet when we have our image done, right? Well, the first person you meet is usually the, t the technologist who takes the images and then the technologist sends those images to the radiologist for interpretation and you, you may as a patient never meet the radiologist. Oh, really? Right. Do they work in the same facility of where the image is done or not? Sometimes they're in the same facility but a different room and sometimes they may be further in another center. Um, okay. The more subspecialized or the more special type of radiologist you have, the more of a chance that that doctor is working somewhere else and not at the facility that you're scanned. Okay. And then in regards to pancreatic cancer, how should somebody find out about it? Well. Usually the radiologist reads the CT or MRI, they create a report and the report is sent to the to your ordering doctor, your family doctor, your internal medicine person, your gastroenterologist, and they should sit with you and go over the report with you and tell you if you have this diagnosis mm -hmm. and what the next steps in treatment are. Okay, and then if somebody was, is it like a history type of thing? If it's in your family, should you be concerned that you can get it? Yeah, if you have a high family history of pancreatic cancer and you have some long-standing um, symptoms like back pain, abdominal pain. You should definitely speak to your doctor about your concerns. Okay, great. Is there anything yeah. else that you'd like to share with us? Not about pancreatic cancer. Okay, very good. Thank <laughs> you so much for the time. Sure. And remember, if you'd like additional information about what we've just discussed, please visit radnet.com. I wanted to give my brother a ceremony that would honor his life. Our family had experienced um, joy and pain, uh, disconnect and frustration with my brother, and yet he was someone that I loved dearly. People are worthy to be honored. That's why I trust O'Connor Mortuary. Jewelry Box, it's about trust. Do you buy gold? Yes, we do. Do you buy diamond rings? We do. Do you buy watches? We do. Do you buy silver? We do. Do you buy these? Yes, we do. Gold, diamonds, jewelry, or sterling silver. The Jewelry Box of Lake Forest makes it easy to get top dollar for your treasures. No appointment necessary. Simply come in and walk out with money for your valuables. Whether it's one ring or an entire estate. We buy it all. Welcome back. Well, we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, jewelry. And we have Christine and Jack Levinson here from the Jewelry Box of Lake Forest. And they brought some wonderful things. Thank you for being with us. I appreciate it. Glad to have you on. Now, we did have a commercial beforehand that talks about 
you guys buying lots of different things. So before we go into that, why don't you tell us a little about the jewelry box and how long you guys have been in your location? Well, we've been there uh, for going on 19 years in September. And we bought the store right after 9-11, okay. so it was kind of a little touch and go to begin with. Sure. But um, we're flourishing now, uh, ma mainly because of the community. But we have a full size, a full jewelry store. We do okay. repairs, we do, we sell jewelry, and we buy jewelry. Okay. Uh, we have master jewelers in our store that does all of the repairs, mm -hmm. uh, so nothing gets sent out. And we have a staff of wonderful ladies that just love waiting on the customers when they come in and let them try on all the jewelry. Okay. And what makes us different is that most of the jewelry that we sell has been pre-owned. Oh. So it's we buy from the public and then we refurbish it and put it out. Oh, you do. Okay. So we're able to sell it at a little bit better price than what you would find at a uh, you know, a typical jewelry store. Right, right. Well, it seems that sometimes jewelry, um, really, some things do not appreciate. Um, so, I mean, it's like, why go through the trouble of making a brand new ring when, like you guys, you could sell something that somebody else has already owned? And I like the fact that you can refurbish it. So what are some of the things that you normally have to do to pre-own jewelry? Well, I would say that 80% of what we buy over the counter, we do not resell. We only pick the creme de la creme, if you will. Okay. Um, and then we take those pieces and, and these great guys that work in our jewelry shop, they'll tighten stones, make sure everything is secure, um, and then polish the ring back to looking like brand new. So there's nothing in our cases that doesn't look brand, brand new. Okay. Um, but, you know, it's probably 30, 40% less than a comparable piece would be if you went to the mall or a department store, that right. kind of thing. Right, right. Well, that's that's yeah. really good information because, like I said, you know, people don't necessarily want to spend, you know, an awful lot of money on the jewelry. So uh, you brought some pieces here today. Now, this one, of course, caught my <laughs> eye. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> this is a gorgeous diamond ring. And so, is this something that has been refurbished? You would you would never know. No, True. never True. know. It's absolutely gorgeous. And, if, and the watches, you know, are another example of that because. <clears throat> we only buy better brand watches. We buy Rolexes and Tags and, uh, and that, those kinds of brands, Cartier. Um, and we have a master watchmaker, so everything is taken apart, gone through, okay. um, and, then, and then rebuilt and polished. Mm -hmm. We put a year guarantee on it, which is the same as the manufacturer. But most of the watches that we sell, you know, Rolexes for probably, on average, 30 to 50% less than if you walked into a store that carries Rolex okay. and bought a new one. Okay. And most of these watches are built to run for decades, so the fact that it's been owned for a few years doesn't matter. Right. And nobody right. knows. Huh. You know, these are yeah. a couple of good examples of watches that we have. So uh, this is a, oh, so this is a that's tag. That's a tag Hoyer. Right. Um, and this is a Concorde. Oh, Ladies, Concord, yes, it's gold beautiful. Gold diamond watch. Yeah, and if you beautiful. look at the band, you, there's, no, there's no scratches in it. Right. right. We, we are able right. to take out all the scratches and signs of wear. How do you take the scratches out? That's incredible. Just, they, you know, I, I've never, I think I've been smart enough to never learn how to do that. <laughs> you leave it to wanna, the master We jewelers. leave it to the experts. Yes. Absolutely, exactly, exactly absolutely. Right. But there's all kinds of machinery back there, and we, think, we hear things humming and spinning, and, and when they're done, that's what happens. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, you have something unique there. Well, this is, you know, we buy a lot um, from the public, and we have a lot of folks that live in the village here that come to our store. Mm -hmm. um, and most of the time, they're, you know, the, the idea is that they're downsizing, they want to get rid of things that they haven't used in a long time. Mm -hmm. um, one of the issues that we hear very regularly is that, you know, I have this sterling silver, my kids don't want it, my grandkids don't want it, mm -hmm. and I'm afraid that if I leave it here, they're not gonna understand the value of it. They'll put it out on a garage sale, it'll sell for 20 bucks, mm -hmm. so I'd rather sell it to you guys, take the money, put it in the bank for them. Okay. So this is just an example. This is a set of um, sterling silver that we purchased from a customer recently. Mm -hmm. But we also buy tea services and candy dishes and candelabras and anything that's sterling, we're happy to purchase and pay the customer for it and get it out of there, get it out now of the Now you're, you're paying based on weight, right? Pretty much. Okay. Occasionally there's a design that's very much in demand that we can pay a little more for, mm -hmm. but because there's no demand for this anymore, like there was you know, back in the day. Right. Um, it's, it's pretty much purchased by the weight. 
Yeah. You know, I think I use mine twice a year, right? Christmas That's and Thanksgiving. That's, That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> because I love the way mine looks with the, you know, on the on the table. Right. So yeah, so I'm still using it. So at some point though, I may not be, and right. then I, yeah. I'll do exactly the same thing. So uh, let's talk about some of the pieces that you are looking for right now. What are some I, ideal things that you're looking for, gold and silver? Well, I brought some of the color pieces because color is one of my favorites. But we're we're looking for anything that is uh, different, unique. Um, or, or even basic items, gold hoops, um, bangle bracelets, anything that we can make new again. Okay. If it's dented or broken, we'll still be interested in it, we'll still buy it, okay. but it's not something that we can put out in our showcase and resell. Okay. But these are examples of a couple of things, uh, items that we have bought that we can resell. Oh gosh, this is a beautiful. gorgeous tanzanite pendant. Um, so anything that is 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold, platinum, uh, sterling silver, you know, we are, we are interested in. And we always tell people we get a lot of phone calls and um, they're not sure, you know, especially on the silver. They don't know if it's silver plate or sterling silver. Oh, yeah. So we just tell them, bring it in. We'll be happy to take a look at it. Okay. We'll sort it out. We'll tell you what we're interested in and what we're not. Okay. And okay. then, they, then they can take it to a garage sale or, or to okay. Goodwill. Okay. However, if it's just, like you said, gold hoops, but maybe maybe it's just like trinkets of gold. So I know yeah. sometimes chains break and you're like, oh, I can't right. do anything about it. So can they bring things like that Oh, too? absolutely. Okay. Broken pieces, single earrings, things like that will pay based upon a rate, a, a, a weight. Okay. But if it's a finished piece of jewelry that we know we can sell, okay. we don't base it on the weight. Gotcha. Because we know we're going to get more for it. Okay. Okay. So great. they get a little more. Great. Now you are award winning. <laughs> I mean, wow. And what is it, nine years in a row? Nine years nine in years. a row. That's great. So best of Orange fun. County. Yeah. So folks vote through the Orange County Register every year for right. all kinds of categories from restaurants to gyms to jewelry stores. Mm -hmm. And for the last nine straight years, we have been voted best of Orange County. We're very proud of that, largely because we are up against some major chain stores right. and other huge operations, and we're just a neighborhood store. So um, uh, the fact that our customers uh, care about us enough to vote and vote us into that uh, category is, is very exciting for us year after year. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you're right. It is tough to compete with some of the large ones, especially because mm -hmm. they have a bigger marketing budget. Yes. Uh, although you guys have been doing a great job. We've been seeing your commercials everywhere, so good for you. Thank good, you. G good stuff. Um, any last things you'd like to let everybody know about? Just that, you know, we, you know, we welcome folks. <clears throat> Sometimes we have people that come up and they've got a chest of silver and it's a bit of a struggle, so let us know. We'll come out to the car. We'll help you carry oh, yeah. it in. Heavy. Um, yeah. Uh, and um, call us for any reason. We're happy to talk to you on the phone. We're happy to see you in person. Take good care of you. Got cold water for everybody that comes in. <laughs> so we have a great um, uh, group of people that create a very warm atmosphere in the store. No pressure by anybody. Right. And um, uh, so we'd love to see you. All right, excellent. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna, we're gonna end with this one because this is a beauty on my finger. It's, it uh, it's absolutely nice. gorgeous, just pretty. But anyway, if you want to know more about the Jewelry Box, you can always go to their website, and it's thejewelryboxlf.com. Uh, so we'll be right back after this, after I admire this gorgeous. <laughs> Does that look good? Thanks. That looks good. Welcome back. I'm Kiana Lee. Today, we're talking to Dr. Chuck Lee of Seven Day Dental. Today's topic is teeth whitening. Doctor, what do we need to know about teeth whitening? Dad. Oh, the whitening kit whitens teeth up to five shades in 10 minutes and it's zero sensitivity. Thank you, doctor. So come on in and get your seven day dental smile. Being the mayor of Funder, California is more than just shaking hands and kissing babies. It takes honesty, for example. And honestly, I'm busy today. You've got to be proficient. Flexibility is key. You have to be a voice of good reason. Quail tortellini every time. And I do this why, you ask? So you, the people, can let your funner flag fly.
we got a couple really fun movies for you this week. The first one is today. It's called Life of the Party. And this is all about a woman whose husband suddenly dumps her. So she's been a longtime dedicated housewife, and she turns regret into reset by going back to college, landing in the same classes and school as her daughter, who's not entirely sold on the idea. This is just a fun comedy. It stars Melissa McCarthy, who has uh, really become a really big star and been in a lot of uh, good movies over the years, uh, a lot of TV shows as well, and it looks to be a real fun movie. So as I said, Melissa McCarthy, Matt Walsh, and Molly Gordon star in Life of the Party. That will be at 2 o'clock today uh, with subtitles, and then 6 o'clock without subtitles. Now, coming up on Friday, another fun movie. This is called Palms. And it's a comedy about a group of women who form a cheer leading squad at their retirement community, proving that you're never too young to bring it. Martha is an introverted woman who moves to a retirement community that has shuffleboard, golf, bowling, and other activities. Hoping to be left alone, she meets Cheryl, a fun-loving neighbor who insists that they become best pals. And after coming out of her shell, Martha and her new friend decide to form a cheerleading squad. Uh, this has a really all, big all-star cast in it. Diane Keaton, Jackie Weaver, Celia Will, uh, Winston, Weston, and Rhea Perlman, Pam Greer. Huge cast. This looks to be a really fun movie, and this will be Friday at 2 o'clock and at 7 o'clock. So a lot of good movies coming up. Um, coming up next week will be one of my favorite movies, Avengers Endgame. So if you're a big Marvel fan, that's the... Um, that's the, like the culmination of all the past 10 years. All right, Aquadets. Hey, you all know the Aquadets. They got their wonderful shows coming up at the end of this month. They will be on August 29th, 30th, and 31st at Pool 1 at 8 o'clock. Tickets are available right now, and there are four ways to get your tickets. You can get them at Clubhouse 1, 2, 5, and 7. You can get them at the Recreation Department here in the Community Center. You can go online to aquadets.com or you can call and text 949-246-6593. It's open seating, so they say once you get your tickets to get there early. As I said, it starts at 8 and uh, the gates open at 7 o'clock. Tickets are only $7. And again, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the last three days in August, the so 29th, 30th, and 31st. This is always a big event and very talented ladies that are all part of the Aquadet. They actually practice this all year long, so they put a lot of effort into this. Coming up at the end of this month, the Aqua Follies. Also, a couple things coming up uh, this week. One of them is uh, Laguna Woods Christian Women's Connection. They're going to be having an Island Breezes buffet lunch, so this should be fun. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that one. Sorry about that. The Fall Prevention Workshop, and that is happening um, it's something that's going to be several classes coming up. Now, one is Wednesday, the uh, August 28th. This is their, their workshop that's coming up. You're all invited to this, 2.30 to 4 p.m. at Clubhouse 7. It's free, no registration is required. Then they're going to be having succeeding workshops and classes all around fall prevention put on by your social service department. So if you miss that one, there'll be another one in October and then several next year, but there'll also be some series of classes coming up as well. So you can find out more about that by uh, stopping in at social services. And there, this is being a conjunction with uh, Memorial Care as well, Memorial Care Saddleback Medical Center. So check that out. And they're going to lot, a lot of different things coming up through them. But if you don't make it to this class, there'll be more on the way. All right, let's tell you about the weather. And um, as I said, we have sort of a repeat this week of what we had that week, meaning that uh, the be middle part of the week will be uh, warmer. We'll get up to the upper 80s, and then things will begin to cool off just a bit for the weekend. So uh, nice out there today. We got a little, if you're watching us in the morning, we got that thick marine layer. In fact, the beach communities will probably be overcast there till probably at least about 11 o'clock or so. Uh, for us, uh, though, it should uh, go away a little bit quicker than that. And then you can see going forward, the warmer days will be Wednesday and Thursday. Those temperatures might change because I've looked at three different sources, and uh, they kind of range, like, for instance, on Wednesday and Thursday, anywhere from about 84 
to about 87, 88 degrees. So I kind of met it in the middle there. Uh, here we are around the county and beyond today. Really nice temperatures from the middle of um, August. Well, maybe not Palm Springs, but actually, you know, they've been up to 114, 115. So 109, eh, it's cooler out there, right? Uh, but if you're headed out to Palm Springs, by the way, um, just want to tell you that, uh, you know, that during the weekends, the 60 freeway is having all that construction on there. So no worries during the week, but it will be a little bit of traffic going through that area. I think it's the 60 around the 215, and you can look online to Caltrans and find out. Even though they're working on it on the weekend, I think there's a couple lanes that are at least one lane that might be closed off midweek, and that's going on all the way October. So check the traffic if you're headed out to Palm Springs, or better yet, take the 10, go up to the 10 and take that all the way. All right, our, um, our show tomorrow, Lisa Bartlett will be here, and she's bringing a guest from the wonderful Ocean Institute. They're having their Tall Shits Festival coming up, and I'm sure she'll talk about, I think, all the plans for the Dana Point Wharf now who've gone through, and we've talked about that before, the big uh, remodeling they're gonna be due a couple years it'll take to do. It looks really nice. Guests from the Duplicate Bridge Club, and then uh, we have the woman on who produced uh, the uh, short movie, The Last Doll Lady, about resident here, Selma Buckstein. That's all tomorrow. We'll see you then. Take care.